Hi, this is Loretta, and I'm here with part three of making our paper organizer. And what I am doing right now is putting together where these are going to hang on the strips that we cut from our muslin. So I have our folders that we made, and I've got a, just a regular piece of scotch tape that I'm going to put over the top of this just to keep it closed so that you know it won't pop open then I'm just taking my regular ATG runner and I'm running two long strips of adhesive down the backs of these so that I can go ahead and put them on the muslin strips that we cut okay so there's the top of the door and there are my muslin strips, you can see them hanging down on the door. There's my first folder. So now I'm just going to place my other two folders down on this side and then there will be two folders on the back side and then I will mark the tops of them with a pencil line Okay, it's Loretta, and now I'm back to show you how I have the folders hanging on the muslin strips. And I'm having to get way back because this project is really pretty long. There's the top of my door. There's the bottom of my door. And I have affixed the three folders to the front. And, and there are the two folders that are on the back side of my door. All right, so coming back to work on securing the folders, here is my doorknob. This up here, this up here is the top part of my door, and this is the bottom part of my door. Okay, and this is the front side of my door where I have the three folders hanging. One at the top, one at the middle, and one at the bottom. So now that I have my tick marks made on my muslin, I'm going to start attaching the folders to the muslin beginning at the bottom. So I will attach the, the bottom, and then the middle, and then the top. And then I will work on the other side of the muslin that will hang on the other side of the door working from the top folder to the bottom. Alright, so here's the diagram and I'm going to go ahead and turn off my desk light so that I don't create too much glare. But anyway, here's my diagram. So here's here's the diagram of my door, okay, and there's the doorknob. And this is the front side of the door and these are the muslin strips, okay. So what I've got now is I have the muslin strips on my desk and I have the bottom sides of the muslin strips are right here. So here are the bottom of my muslin strips, okay, right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work up to this first tick mark, okay, which is 14 inches. I'm going to move the diagram out of the way. Now you'll need to measure on your door how far up your tick marks are to the very um, to the inches that you're working with on your muslin strips to the to the very bottom folder that we are attaching right now. But I have my first folder here that I have taped at the, sh at the top. It is, I'm about a half an inch on this side in and I want to be the same on this side. Alright, and I can tell that I have about the same distance at the bottom exactly like I want it. So now I'm going to peel this piece of tape off because I don't want the tape on there. So, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to make an X like this with my thread. Okay, like this. Alright, and so I hope you can see that. Here again I'm going to go just like this. 
with the thread. Okay, and I have just some regular thread, and I'm just going to pull a bunch of this out. And I am going to I'm going to double this. Okay. All right, I've got my thread ready. I'm just going to put that over there in my thing. And now I'm going to get my paper piercer. All right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my paper piercer and I'm going to take, drive it all the way through that hole and pick up the muslin. And I'm going to drive it all the way through the muslin, like so. All right. In fact, I might just have to go through the top. Okay. And I'm making sure that I'm not catching any of the muslin, but just put the top that's there. And what I'm going to do to keep that from going through is I'm just going to hold it and then I'm going to make a knot. So, okay, here we go. Now this is going to be a little tricky, folks, and you're just going to have to kind of bear with me because I've never done this before. We're doing this together. I found the, the hole and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to bring it through that other thread right there so that it'll catch it, okay? And then I'm going to go back through the top, okay? Now that I've got my thread knotted where I want it to be and I'm going to go through this bottom hole over here on this side and I can kind of feel where the poker went through it so it's not giving me too much of a hard time okay and I'm going to come back up here okay and then I'm going to go back through this bottom hole here and it might take me a minute to find it I just have to be patient until I find where it's at uh, there we go okay and just like that okay and now I'm going to go through the top and make my X okay like this Okay, so I have, I have my X. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. And now I'm going to come up through here. And I'm just going to secure that a few times. Okay. Alright, there we go. And now what I'm doing is now I'm just going to put a knot in here. Okay. There we go. Alright, and so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sew all of those, I'm going to do them all on camera, but all of these, there we go, let's put this back down where you guys can see where we're at here. And the adhesive is holding strong. So far, so good. Let's get this out of the way where you guys can see. Alright, now. Here's the muslin at the bottom. And it's holding steady. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all three of these X's on these folders. And then I'll be back to show you.
when I get finished sewing those on.